All right, this video that I am going to do with Addy is an activity I called windshield wipers. So I'm gonna quickly run through the couple different activities that you can do with your daughter uh, or anybody else um, and work on a bunch of different touches. So the first one is simply two touch. On one side, you're gonna do right foot for both. The other side, you're gonna do left foot for both. Really focus on them hitting the ball back to you, solid with the inside of their foot, heel down, toe up. So it'll look like this. So moving back and forth, just like a windshield wiper. The person playing the ball, if they have trouble playing it, they can get on the ground and roll it for the person. Okay, so first one's two touch. Okay, then you would stop. You'd work for about 45 seconds at a time. Then the second one would be one touch. So it would look like this. So one touch. Good. Get on your toes. Step. Good. Try to keep that ball on the ground. Good. So one touch. Very good. All right, and stop. The next one would be two touch again. But now we're throwing the ball at them a little bit. So it's like it might be in a game. And it's not always going to be perfect. So she's on her toes. Okay, throw it at her. Touch. Okay. Two touch though, Addy. So as I get it, touch down and then play it back to me. Good. Keep going. Touch. Good. Step into it. Addy, Molly, just focus on where she's working. Good. All right, good. All right, and stop. Okay. So now the next one would be two touch again, okay? But now you're focused on going across the cone, okay? So as I play it to you, Addy, step back a step. As I play it to you, you're gonna touch it with the inside of your foot across, then pass it back to me and stay on that side. Okay, so get on your toes. So inside across, good. And pass it back to me and I'll stay over there. Now left foot, good, good, stay over there. So focus on getting that first touch across the cone. Get away from the cone, that's your defender. Turn your hips more so you're hitting right back to the target. They have to take a third touch. Let them take a third touch. Stay over there now, Addy. Good. All right. Good. All right, and stop. Okay, so on that one, it's just focus on a good first touch across and then turn your hips to play it back to the target. Okay, I stay still, so she's working on turning her hips. If they need to take a third touch, they take a third touch. Now you're gonna do the exact same thing, but your first touch is outside the foot. So I play the ball, touch it with the outside of your foot, the other foot behind the cone. Good. And then play it back. Very good. So stay over there. So now let's look at it. Good. Get on your toes and turn your hips and play it back to me, Addy, not straight forward. Good. Touch another time if you have to. Touch it a third time if you have to. So outside the foot, good. There you go. Now turn your hips, perfect. So we're behind the cone. Good. So notice it's a little t harder, okay? But we're focusing on different touches. As we get better, I play the ball harder at her, not softer, okay? So that's that one, okay? The next one would be same thing, idea, back up, Addy, but cap it across, so play it. Stop it with the bottom of your foot and then cap it across and play it. There you go. Good. 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 All right, and stop. So that would be it for the two touches. Uh, we already did the one touch. Okay. Now you would do ball in the air and you would do volleys. Okay. And that's inside the foot. So it's no different than passing it back with inside the foot. So Molly, come a little bit closer. Make sure you're videoing Addy though. Good. Okay, so we're on our toes. This side, it's gonna be right foot. Good. Okay. And the other side's gonna be left foot. Good. Perfect. Okay. Then our next turn would be laces. So now she's going to try to point her toe down and hit it back to me with her laces and instep. Okay, left foot on that side, right foot on the other. Good. Good. All right, 
So that's that one. The third one is you let it bounce and then hit it back to me. So you can volley it back with inside or outside, but now the ball, I'm throwing it to where it bounces. And as it comes up, she's got to hit it back to my hands, hopefully. So get on your toes. Good. Try to hit it up to my hand. Good. Good. All right, go ahead, throw it back to me. All right, good. So that's that one. The next two get a little bit more difficult. So we do what's called thigh volley and chest volley. So she's on her toes. Okay, Molly, back up so you don't get hit. She's gonna do a thigh, then back to me. So get on your toes. Okay, thigh, good. Turn your hips and hit it back. The idea, go to the other side now. The idea would be to end up doing it before it hits the ground. Good. Good. Try to do it before it hits the ground. Good, there you go. So that one, we got one, we got two in a row. Very good. So then the next one would be chest. The one with chest, as it comes, we're trying to pop our chest right as the ball is about to hit, so she pops it up, okay? All right, so we got a good throw, two hand under hand throws, she pops it up, good. Up, but remember, we volley it back to me, so it's a chest, left foot, get to it. Okay, get on your toes, pop it up. All right. Good, and now try to pop it up as it hits you so you can pass it back to me all in the air. Good, that was a good try. Good. All right, and stop. Okay, last one. And this is only if you have a really soft ball. I suggest like the balloon type balls that you might get from Walmart and just play around in the basement. Because at U9, 10, they're not supposed to be heading. But if you can get a soft ball and teach them the right technique of keeping their eyes open and driving their forehead through the ball and not hitting it here, and you do it with a balloon type ball, they're gonna get used to it. They're not gonna be uh, uncomfortable. So. This ball is really soft, like a balloon. So we're gonna use this. So it'd be the same idea. She's on her toes, I'm gonna throw it. She's just gonna head it back to me. Again, focus on eyes open. Reach out like she's about to grab the ball. And then as she's about to grab it, drive her head through the ball with the eyes open. Okay, drive it back like you're trying to pop it. Good. So I would not do this one unless you have a soft ball and if they start to get to where they're hitting their nose or the top of their head, stop. Okay, the whole idea is they get it right here with their eyes open and mouth closed. Okay, reach out like they're about to grab the ball. As they're about to grab it is when they reach through and hit it. Okay, so it's a quick little video that they can do to get some touches.